Greetings, YouTube! Danny Staten here on the Daily Dan Blog. You're looking at Super Comics number 90 from 1945. It's official. It's the oldest freaking book I've ever had in my life. Super Comics is a amalgamation of several old comic strip characters. Like, I don't know, Little Abner. Or Benanny. Smitty. And of course, Dick Tracy. But that's not the Dick Tracy we know. That's not the Dick Tracy you know. I bet you, YouTube, you're used to a different Dick, Dick Tracy, aren't you? Because most of you are younger. Hold on, YouTube. Is this the Dick Tracy you're used to? When it's time to fight crime. Calling Dick Tracy. Calling Dick Tracy. He's your man. Tracy. 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 You mind if I call you Dick? Okay, boys, let's go. Pictures presents Warren Beatty. Make another pet. They waive their right to a phone call. As Dick Tracy. Aren't you gonna frisk me? You know, that's what I call a day. I think Tracy drives you crazy, doesn't he? Ah, when do we get Dick Tracy? Everywhere I turn! Tracy! 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 Oh, Tracy, what's up? He's coming to a theater near you. I'm on my way. Dick Tracy. Oh my God, YouTube, laughing out loud. Is that the Dick Tracy you're used to? Well, guess what? A long time ago, back in the 1940s, there was a different Dick Tracy. It's true. It's damn true. He was a little bit different, really. He was. Okay, laughing out loud, YouTube. Laughing out loud. I want to show y'all a little taste of what the old Dick Tracy might have looked like. All right, we're going to get started on this comic book review. Remember now, Dick Tracy is just one of the featured stories in this super comics amalgamation of all the great comic strips from the 40s. Really, basically, they just took a bunch of comic strips from newspapers and made a comic book. That makes Deli Dan want to drink. It really does. I always look for that favorite sign of comedy. Oh, that favorite sign of a classic comic. It's a Dell and it's a 10 cent comic book. From the 1940s, this is the oldest comic book I've ever owned. In the beginning of this comic book, you find Dick Tracy on the trail of some cattle rustlers. Oh my goodness, that's a Dick Tracy hunting stolen cows comic book. So I reckon I'll just show you panel for panel as Dick Tracy hunts down the cattle rustlers. I would read you every panel from the story and tell it like it's real exciting, but he's hunting cattle rustlers. Oh my God. Why couldn't I get one where he's hunting a murderer? Oh, YouTube, I'm slapping my knee at the tomfoolery in this comic. This comic has comedy. It's, it's Dick Tracy, and it's a comedy, and he's hunting cattle rustlers? What the fuck? Oh my god. Wow, YouTube, I never thought I'd be seeing a day that Dick Tracy would be hunting down stolen cattle. That just kind of boggles the Daily Dan's mind a little bit. Well, it just, like, turned into a shootout. The guy threw the gun away, and it stops without saying the end or anything. Maybe they'll get back to the story a little bit later. But next up, we got some... Little Joe. And I can't believe they just stopped the story. It's like, maybe in the next comic, this is where it'll pick up at. Wow. And then you get this Little Joe fucker, whatever the hell's up with Little Joe. I never even heard of Little Joe. Who in the hell is Little Joe? And I guess you get one page of Little Joe before you go into some Smitty. And I don't know what the hell a Smitty is, neither. I guess I'm a little too young to know what a Smitty is. Anyway, this comic has the basic art you would see in a newspaper comic of the 1940s and 50s. It's a really shitty art. It's not done too well. The pages are not colored in great. It's the old style panels that I respect but don't love. At least Shitty Smitty gets a 
couple of pages and not just that one little page spread thing that happened. Ah, I missed Dick Tracy already. Smitty's a stupid little safari tale ends up in about three pages with some shit like this. I won't even go into that. And then you get the Moon Mulligans. Moon Mullins. I've actually seen this comic strip once or twice in newspapers when I was a child. I never respected it and never liked it, but I guess the art... Is this guy the penguin? I guess the art is the reason why. And the Mullins finish up with their little trip to Russia. Oh my God, that's horrible. And then you get a Tiny Tim. Ain't that that goddamn guy from a Scrooge commercial or something? A Scrooge movie? Didn't Scrooge put Tiny Tim's ass or something? I don't know. It, Tiny Tim. I didn't know this fucker had his own little comic strip. Never heard of Tiny Tim. Looks more like the... What's that guy? Stan and Ollie or whatever? Oh, I don't know. This is horrible. Oh, Tiny Tim. I guess Tiny Tim's going to get a hell of an adventure in this book. As I look through it, I see Tiny Tim having all kind of fun. I hate Tiny Tim. You would think Dick fucking Tracy would have got a few more pages than Tiny Tim and his trusty horses. Tiny Tim going skiing. Tiny Tim wanting to steal some shit? No, no, that ain't Tiny Tim. That's the bad guys. Oh, they got bad guys in this story. Oh, God, it's going to go on. I just flipped through that crap. I couldn't take it no more. Over to Sweeney and Son. You ever freaking hear of Sweeney and Son? I've never heard of Sweeney and Son. And Clyde Beatty. Clyde Beatty. Didn't he get raped or something in deliverance? Like Clyde Beatty? No, that was somebody else. Oh, my God. And What the hell's going on here with Clyde Beatty? Oh, oh my God. This, this is just full of crappy old comics from the 40s. When I bought this book, I thought I was buying a Dick Tracy comic book. I didn't know I was buying Dick Up the Ass comic book. The book that's going to give you a bunch of crap. It's super comics. It's an amalgamation of all the comics from the comic books. Not from the comic books, but from the comic pages of your newspaper back in the 1940s. Oh my God, this makes me want to pull my hair out and scream. Scream. But it is my oldest comic, and it does have a Dick Tracy cover, thank God. Oh my God. Well, hell... Look at this. Clyde Beatty must be popular back in the day. It got more than one page. Oh, he's an airplane pilot. Oh, he goes on an adventure. Oh, he crashes because he ain't a good airplane pilot. He sucks. And how in the hell he got the crash plane started and back on the runway. And oh, my God, uh, he delivered the Tigers. whoop he freaking do And once again, it don't say the end. It just says, Harold the Teen is next. I knew a Harold once. Harold was cool. Harold passed away. He was a friend of mine. This is not his story. Harold did not look like a dork. Ah! And do you believe this shit, YouTube? Now I gotta look at some little orphan fucking Annie. Talk about something I really hated when I was a child. Huh. I used to take the little orphan Annie cartoons and line the bottom of the birdcage with them pieces of crap. Oh my God. And more little orphan Annie and more little orphan Annie and more little orphan Annie. Oh my God. And in the last, I guess the last page or so of the book, you see the end of the Little Orphan Annie thing. None of these comics say the end in their stories. Makes you think it's continued in every episode of this, oh my God, crappy comic book from 1945. And you get a little, little reading at the end. You can pause it and read that shit if you want to. I'm not going to bother. And on the back cover, you get some more crap you never heard of. Oh my God. Well, YouTube, number 90 from 1945. It's a super comics. It's an amalgamation of Dick Tracy and stories about all these other shit twists that mostly you've never heard of. I love the cover on this comic, and I'm very happy to have a 1945, number 90, 10 Cent Dell super comics. But only the first story's cool. And I bought the book thinking I was getting some Dick Tracy, not dig up the ass so a little disappointed in that but it's a great cover it'll look good on my wall thanks for joining me be sure to like subscribe and ring the bell for daily dan until next time blog over